teach students. 암개서원 After 소수서원, 남계서원 is the oldest surviving 서원 in Korea. 남계서원, located in Hamyang, Gyeongsangnam-do, was established in the seventh year of King Myeongjong to commemorate Jongyeotang's studies and virtues and to educate local people. In the 21st year of King Myeongjong's reign, the king gave the name Namge to the 서원. Namge Seowon is also attracting attention as it is the first Seowon in Korea built by local Confucian scholars. It is a Seowon built by Confucian scholars in Hamyang, centering on Geam Gangi. At a time when they were having a hard time due to a massacre of scholars. Most of the Seowons are located facing the flowing river and surrounded by mountains. So the natural scenery is very beautiful. Namge Seowon is surrounded by low but cozy mountains in the back. But now, there is no big stream overflowing with water, and only a small ditch remains. And beyond that, a wide field stretches out. If you park your car and walk towards the Seowon, you can see the whole area at a glance. You can see Hongsalmun standing in front of the Seowon. Hongsalmun is a red painted gate erected in front of royal tombs, shrines, palaces, and government offices and means gate with red arrow. This gate indicates a sacred place or a place that requires polite entry and exit. In that sense, the Hongsal Moon at the entrance to the Seowon contains the meaning of being reverent in body and mind while entering and exiting the Seowon. Pungyong Lu, the main gate you encounter after passing through Hongsal Moon, is a tall building where students and local Confucian scholars gather to love and enjoy the arts. The lower floor is an entrance door, and the upper floor is a tall building. The name Pungyonglu is derived from the Analects of Confucius. In the Sonjin section of the Analects, when Confucius asked his disciples, if there is someone who appreciates you, what would you do? Most of the disciples answered that they were confident that they would do well in politics. But Jung Seok answered, I'll bath in the Kisu, get some air on the Mu Wu, and come back reciting. Confucius said, I am the same. It is dried from the words Pung, meaning wind, and Yong, meaning reciting. Damge Seowon uses the slope terrain as it is, with the shrine at the highest point, and the Gangheokdang and entrance gates are arranged in a straight line below it. In this way, the layout type with a lecture space in front and a shrine space in the back is called a Jeonhak Fumyo. After this Jeonhak Fumyo was first formed in Korea, most of the Seowans built in each region followed this arrangement. Although the temples and palaces were grandly built for religiosity and authority, the Seowon was built for the purpose of learning education and performing ancestral rites. So there is no special adornment in the architecture, and there is a formative beauty that harmonizes with the surrounding nature. When you enter Pungyonglu, you can see the lecture hall in front of you. It is unique in that the signboard with the name of the Seowon is hung under the eaves. Divided into two parts, Namge and Seowon. And you can see a signboard with the name Myeongsongdang hanging on the inside of the floor of the lecture hall. To the east and west of the lecture hall, there is a dormitory where students live. In the east, there is Yangdongje, which means to grow up right. And in the west, there is Boinje, 
which means to help the benevolence. In front of it, there is a tombstone that records the history of the Sawan and the activities of the people who were sacrificed at the shrine. Namge Sawan originated from the idea that Dongje and Seoje were placed facing each other with the front yard in between them. The lecture hall of Namge Sawan is called Myeongseongdang. This is dried from the Jungnyo. Being bright through sincerity is called Song. And being sincere through brightness is called Kyo. So if you are sincere, you become bright. And if you are bright, you become sincere. There were some differences in the education of the Seowon, but they mainly taught the nine Chinese classics. The teaching method is not one-sided lectures or rote learning, but the progress of each student's study is determined according to their abilities. They have developed their own skills through self-study, reading, and contemplation. In neo-confucianism, this method of academic discipline is called kogyongkungni, which means to search for reason with a reverent attitude. Then a lecture is held about once every fortnight. Students stood in front of several professors one by one, reported what they have studied. And the accuracy of their learning was verified through questions and answers. The lecture was held on the main hall of the lecture hall. If you pass, you move on to the next level, but if you fail, you have to take the test with the same content at the next lecture. As the promotion and graduation system for each ability is strictly applied, there is no set period for classes. In some cases, they graduate in as short as two years or as long as ten years. The shrine behind the lecture hall is located high on a steep staircase, creating a unique and solemn atmosphere. In the most of the shrines, the gates were normally closed and it was impossible to enter. However, since it was just after the ceremony, the door was open, so I was able to go inside. Compared to the other sawans, the front yard of Namge Sawan Shrine is relatively spacious. Inside the shrine, Ildu Tongyotang is enshrined as the main, and Dongge Tongwon and Keam Gangik are enshrined to the left and right. When viewed from Hanyang, Andong on the left side of the Nakdong River and Hamyang on the right side of the Nakdong River are both towns that produce great people. If Andong is famous for Toge Iwang, Hamyang is famous for Ildu Tongyotang. Tang Yotang studied Neo-Confucianism under Kim Jong-ji. His name was Pek Uk when he was young. While he was welcoming Chinese envoys with his father, the Chinese envoy, who looked at him, said he will make the house prosper, so call him Yotang. In the fourth year of Hyun Sun gun when Kim Jong-ji met disaster, his disciple Tang Yotang was exiled to Dongseong, Hamgyeongdo and died without coming back. After his death, the king ordered to dig up his corpse and behead it. Rather, it was the opportunity to be reversed as a martyr in the Neo-Confucianism world. Therefore, he was reversed as one of the five ancient sages of Joseon, along with Kim Gwengpil, Zhou Guangzhou, Yi Yeonjeok, and Yi Hwang. In the front yard of Namge Seowon, there are two small ponds on the left and right of Pungyeonglu. It was created together when the east and west Seoje were built under the influence of Judoni, a Neo-Confucianism scholar in the northern Song dynasty. And next to the Seowon is Gojiksa. 
Kujiksa is the resident of the slaves who guard, manage, and support the Sawan. There is a warehouse for storing food and other supplies. Slaves prepare meals for teachers and students and manage items necessary for ancestral rites. During the ancestral rites, local officials also participated and take care of room and board here. The slaves of the Sawan lived in a tile-roofed house of the same level despite their lower status compared to teachers and students. This represents the ideology of the Daedong world of Confucianism, where human beings and all creatures coexist equally and harmoniously.